This is part 165 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to display an icon for website on browser tab. Let me explain what I mean. When we navigate to google.com, notice in the address bar an icon is displayed. So for Google, that's the icon. For Facebook, that is the icon. Now this icon is called as favorite icon. It is also known as a shortcut icon, website icon, tab icon or bookmark icon. Now within Visual Studio here, I have an empty ASP.NET web application project. When we navigate to this webform1.aspx, notice that a default icon is displayed here. Now what we want to do is instead of this default icon, we want to display this icon. So in order to do that, the first thing that we need to do is create the image itself. The image size should be 16 by 16 pixels. That is 16 pixels in height and 16 pixels in width. And it should be named faveicon.icl. We can either create our own image or use many of the free websites that are available to create the image. So faveicon.cc is one such website. So when we navigate to that website, so here you know we can either create an icon ourselves or we can download one of the existing icons. So here there are a lot of favorite icons. So for example, if we want this, click on that and then there should be an option to download it. So when you click this button, it should be downloaded onto your machine and then you can start using that in your website. So since we have our own custom image here, let's go ahead and associate this image with our ASP.NET Web Application Project. In order to do that, the first thing that we need to do is place that image within the root directory of the Web Application Project. So at the moment, this image is present in C colon backslash images folder. So let's go ahead and add that to our project. So add existing item. So we have placed that image within the root directory of the web application project. The next step is to include a link to that image. And that link should have these attributes. rel equals shortcut icon, href equals tilde for slash. Tilde indicates the root directory of the web application project. And that's the name of the icon. And type equals image slash x dash icon. So I have this already typed, so let's copy this and paste it within the head section of our web form. Now in real time, you may have master pages within your application. If you do have master pages, then this link will go in the head section of that master page. Now, those are the two changes that are required. So let's navigate to this webform1.aspx and see if that image is associated. Now notice that it's not associated. That's because I think we are using Visual Studio Development Server. I mean the built-in development server. Now let's publish this to local IIS and see if the icon gets displayed. So let's go to our Visual Studio. Right click on the project name, go to the properties page and then click on the web tab and then notice that by default it's using Visual Studio uh, development server. Instead of that, we want to use local IIS web server. Demo is going to be the name of the virtual directory. So let's go ahead and create the virtual directory and let's save the changes. And now let's navigate to webform1.aspx and notice that our favorite icon is now displayed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.